Former Prime Minister Scott Morrison has split with Peter Dutton over Britain's role in the looming AUKUS submarine deal. In a wide-ranging interview, Mr Morrison has told Sky's Shari Markson that Labor should also boost Australia's defence spending. Breaking his silence. How does it feel to be on the back bench? <laughs> Quite liberating. Free from the constraints as Prime Minister, Scott Morrison sits down for an exclusive interview with Sky News anchor Shari Markson. Pointing to the formation of AUKUS and the revival of the Quad Alliance with the US, Japan and India as his two biggest legacies. AUKUS and the Quad Leaders Dialogue had a bigger, I think, counterbalancing impact on the assertiveness of uh, the government of China than, than any two things we've seen in a very long time. And your two uh, biggest achievements or biggest legacies? Well, that, I, think, I thought they were natural decisions to make. The next steps on the AUKUS pathway for Australia's nuclear-powered submarine fleet will be announced in coming weeks. If they end up going down the British boat path, A, that would be consistent with the original intent, unless there was an overwhelming reason why a, a US boat would be a better option. Um, and I'm confident they'll make the right judgement on that. It's an assessment that's at odds with his former defence minister turned opposition leader, Peter Dutton. What I worry most about with the, the talk, the chatter around going with the British model is that it's, it's a new design. The advice that I had when I was minister for defence was that there were capacity constraints within the British system with Rolls-Royce. The first nuclear-powered sub will likely not be in operation until the late 2030s. Scott Morrison has backed the push to extend the capacity of Australia's existing fleet. Life of type extension on Collins, I think, is, is the most practical way of dealing with that gap. Ahead of the release of the Defence Strategic Review, the former Prime Minister believes Labor needs to bolster spending. I think our defence budget needs to get to 2.5% of GDP. Mr Morrison warns Australia alone cannot defend itself. That it is still, isn't it, a terrifying thought that if Australia stood alone, we would not be able to withstand an attack, an invasion from China? Well, there's no country, I would argue, almost on earth that could say they were other than the United States. I mean, that's just the reality. As for the reality of President Xi moving on Taiwan... As Prime Minister, were you prepared for a potential conflict in Taiwan Straits within a two-year period? So those predictions of, well, could they do this in two years? Well, who knows? I mean, the Russians thought they could take Kiev in, in, in two days. You take with a grain of salt a bit, you know, the, the many assessments that are given. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.